Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Amethyst Sneaks. It feels so good to be back and uploading another speed build video and recording a voiceover for you all. It does feel like it's been ages since my last one, but really it's only been last week. But I am back again with another speed build video. This time around, it's slightly shorter and we are not in the world of Oasis Springs. This video is actually a collaboration between a few simmers all around the world, um, just gathering together and showing everyone our version of our perfect bedroom. And it just feels so surreal and I love doing collaborations because you get to meet other simmers all around the world and just sharing the love of love for sims really um but right now we are in the world of said my shuno and this is actually in the fountain view penthouse so i completely bulldozed that lot and really just made two stories of um floors and it's quite funny because it looks really nice on the inside but when you look at the outside it's just the setup is just hilarious but this is my version of my perfect bedroom exposed bricks i've used a lot of warm wood around this slot and you will also see just red accents here and there as red is my favorite color and purple is second. Just a little fun fact about me. But um, this was my first time properly using CC in my builds. I have used CC before in some of the houses where basically my sims would live. So this is really only during legacy challenges. And what I tend to do is I would just get a house um, from the gallery and if I have to extend it or if I have to decorate a room then I'll just use some sort of CC that would fit the, um, the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for but this is a proper CC build for me and I've used a lot um, originally I was originally I actually forgot that for this collaboration we are allowed or I guess we are free to use whatever we want so there's really no limit in what packs we could use or whether it's really just Sims 4 packs and not CC packs so I completely forgot about that little detail until I was trying to figure out what wallpaper to use and remember that for example, Hey Harry had a brownstone CC pack. But just some of the CC creators that I ended up using was obviously um, Hey Harry and Philexander. I ended up using CC from Peacemaker, from Pierre Sim, Charlie Pancakes, My Shuno Son, and I also ended up using the Pufferhead stuff pack. So as you can see, I've kind of designed my room in a loft style kind of bedroom and I took advantage of the Moschino windows and I've used them in the downstairs part as well as the upstairs part of my room. And I've always just loved seeing the city skyscrapers. I'm pretty sure I'm a city girl. so. That's why I like the idea that my desk would be overlooking um, the city. So that's why I positioned the desk in that in that way and with the massive arched windows. And you pr could probably tell I completely rearranged the room. So originally I had the bookcases just on the left side of my desk area and the little reading nook corner but I ended up um, rearranging all of that because I remembered I would want a TV 
in my room, like gaming for, where I could play my PS5 or, you know, maybe Nintendo Switch. So I wanted to incorporate that in this room. And then I ended up rearranging the bookcases just behind my desk because I would also like the idea of when I'm streaming, I've got a really nice background. And that's why I decorated the bookcases with all of those different type of books, um, figurines as well, which is very reminiscent of what I have now in my room or what I used to have in my room before I rearranged it. I used to have the Assassin's Creed um, figurines on top of my bookcases, the Funko Pops, um, for example, the Harry Potter or Beauty and the Beast, The Walking Dead. So I had all of those until I rearranged my room. So yeah, and then I just chose a lot of um, decorations from Harry and Felixander. I just really liked it, especially the paintings that they have. I think it was from Living Room or yeah, I think it's Living Room. So I ended up using those and I, oh, I've always liked the idea of having like a reading corner um, and just behind me would be all of these cases and I tried to inter reinterpret that in my build so yeah so I really really enjoyed that and I really liked that um, that desk as well I think it's from Pierre Sim the office I'm pretty sure it's from Pierre Sim um, if I'm not please correct me and I do apologize but what I'll also do is I will link the CC creators that I've used for this build in the description below and I would also link the Twitter profiles of the simmers who I had the chance to collaborate with in this perfect bedroom collaboration which is hosted by Cartoon Nerd so I'd like to thank Cartoon Nerd for actually allowing me to be a part of this collaboration and hopefully for future ones as well and please don't forget to check out their twitter profiles um, as they have also posted their own version and their own perfect bedroom which i can't wait to see technically this video will be up after i've actually shown my screenshots to on twitter it will be 2 o'clock a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, so this video will be up later than that. And I will remember to actually post my perfect bedroom on the gallery as well. It is actually all ready to go. It's only a matter of me literally just sharing it on the gallery. I just didn't want to do it before the actual um, collaboration release time I guess <laughs> so yeah I hope that you like this video it is quite shorter than the other one but I have another collaboration coming up and I am excited slash nervous for it because I've already got an idea I think it's just a matter of me putting that idea into the game so hopefully it will turn out well but we are nearing the end of this video i hope that you stay towards the end of the video because you'll see some snapshots of the lot with my sim self as the model and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on to the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.